Well, thank God for recorders. Thank God for a quick cam because I just don't get, I just can't explain things uh, very well the first, <laughs> maybe I had too much on my mind. So let me try to explain position on the can cry. Position is this. I don't see why it is so wrong for a guy to cry over a football game. Especially if it's a player and they have lost the playoff. T.O. was crying because he lost uh, the death game over the Giants and got emotional because them criticizing Tony Romo for going with Jesse Simpson to Mecca. Again, why? Why? Why is it wrong for him to cry? Why? Why is it so inappropriate for him to cry? I mean, I don't get. It. People are like, he was crying. Well, damn, why he was crying. He just lost a fucking game. Okay, beat their ass every day, every single day, to win that. And yes, they choked. Yes, Dallas choked, and they panicked and everything what were not. But for you guys out there to say that somebody is not entitled to cry for a fucking playoff game. I think that's a little bit touch. So I want to ask, why is it wrong for him to cry? I mean, cry for smaller things and nobody makes a big deal about it. But a guy crying off a play game, which puts it, you know, his heart so into practice. I mean, these guys are 100% commit to winning these games. I lives on the line. In some sense, I mean, they pre put their future life after football on the line. Okay, they play through pain, they play through suffering. Playoff game, and they so he cried. Oh, it's just a playoff game. Bullshit! It's not just a game. It's not just a game. Okay, paid millions of dollars to. perform on a very high level to symbol excellence, to symbolize doing something great, okay? Not just a playoff game, that's trivializing what they do, to be honest with you. I'm not saying it's like um, a surgeon, you know, a ER surgeon being a patient, okay? I'm not to that level. Bottom line is that these coaches, the players, put everything they have for at least five months into the Super Bowl, and some of you got all oh, the deals just a playoff game. It's not just a game to these guys, okay? And again, I just understand why guys can't cry. We have a leader, great in the corporate that are most cry over things that the men and their respectively so it's not the source of this. Oh, you sure I, I mean I understand you know evil men cry it's very uncomfortable just not very feeling when you make up your you make that you know single week over a law. I mean, I do lie. I mean, there is a point where I, I would question someone's, you know, I don't want to say necessary toughness, but yeah, someone's composure if they cried every, over a little thing. T.O. cried, tw the only time I've seen T.O. cry is twice. 
They won the 49th game when they beat the Bay, I think, in 1999 over a dramatic... And now, I mean, Slam and Teal for being a dickhead for all in terms of slamming, slamming his own players, but when I when lies and, and defend his own player feeling, you know, that feeling the same pain that his teammates feel, all of a sudden he's, you know, he's, he lost his composure. You know, what's wrong with him? There's nothing wrong with him. He cried. Get over it. He's not a pussy. He's not a wimp. They lost a big playoff. And he feels that the media said that he ought to. Sorry. He's a pussy. He's a wimp. You know, some of you guys, some of you guys don't like to cry. But it's all, you don't have to cry. It's very crime. You feel uncomfortable when you cry with those people. Many do feel someone sobs. Fine. But don't take it to a point where you now, there's nothing wrong with that person crying in that situation at all. <clears throat> really nothing wrong with it. So, I just think people need to look at themselves. T.O. cried, I mean, because the media is making it like, no, T.O. cried at a press conference. He needs to have comp Okay, 99% of the time you should have that. I mean, Dick Vermeil, some people that he... I don't think he cries too much. They get the media. Men cry, don't cry as often. Men, uh, men in football don't cry that often. So it was a little bit uncomfortable. But mine is not a problem. It's your problem. He you cry. You're uncomfortable. You deal with it. Not, you shouldn't have to adjust him. He should have himself and his emotions for losing a major play game, which they put a time into, because you can't handle it. So I have to say for that, I stay.